Georgia, Dr. Dan Miller. Uh, I'm in the College of Engineering. I've been working on renewable fuels, renewable energy for about 15 years. I'm here sort of as an unbiased third party to talk about this. I worked on the model solar ordinance for the state of Georgia, uh, which sort of lays out what we think counties should do when they're being approached by solar companies with the solar project. A lot of what they've done already at, uh, at NextEra is actually in our model solar ordinance. So they meet the requirements that we've set out. This is a project between uh, Georgia Tech, Emory University, and the University of Georgia that we all work together to get this thing done. Have you seen that document? Has that been um, so everything that they've been talking about actually meets the requirements of that. Uh, the one big one that they're doing is that decommission is on. That's a big deal. They're not getting that in all the counties. I think it's pretty important, and I'm glad to hear that they did it. Uh, one thing when we're talking about solar energy here, you know, this is renewable energy, all that stuff is great, but we're in a moment right now where it actually does make money. Uh, and then another thing is that in the state of Georgia, we import all of our energy, right? We import our gasoline, we import our coal to make our electricity. And this is a chance for the people in the state of Georgia to get energy that we have in the sun, right? We can actually harvest our resources. So in that sense, I think it's a great thing. But at the end of the day, the county really has to make their own decision, right? Does the county want this? And that's really what we try to get forward, forward in that um, model solar ordinance. Uh, I actually thought this was going to be a Q&A, so I'm kind of just working off the up right now. Uh, but what we really wanted to say is, you know, the, the county has to make this decision. If the people want it, they should get it. If they don't want it, I think we need to hear why. I don't think there's anything that's going to endanger anybody's health with this. Uh, everything they've done on the environmental side looks pretty clean, so I would not say that there's any immediate threats to the environment from what they're doing. Uh, I do think that solar is great, but again, it really has to fit the character of the county. Since you already have some solar in the county, I think you know what you're in for. So everybody that's here probably has seen what's happened and may have some concerns or maybe are excited about it. Um, I think you need to take that all into account. But at the end of the day, I don't see any threat to the county because of this. In fact, I would much rather see solar in the county than a new coal plant or a nuclear power plant or something like that. Um, this is something that can actually bring a lot of value to the county. And of course, you can't really ignore that tax revenue. That's pretty much money. So um, if that's something the county's interested in, certainly that should be taken into account. Uh, but at the end of the day, University of Georgia and really the whole system believes that this is something that's great for the state of Georgia if it's done right. Um, from what I've seen, next year is doing it right. Uh, we just hope that the county, you know, makes a decision that's right for them. That's really all I have to say. Okay. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Very fun to get. Many more.